Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be looking at how to create the most wonderful rosettes using our scoring board and trimmer. Now, we do have a wonderful overview video which explains how to make boxes, envelopes, bunting, tags, and so much more. And it explains the basic functionality of the machine. But today we are concentrating very much on the wonderful rosettes. Now, I've actually decorated some bags with rosettes here. You can see different, different shapes, different sizes. And how about something like this? Something on a much bigger scale, more decorative. So you can change them up, you can get very tiny, or you can use them to decorate your home as well. So let's take a quick look at the machine. It's usually in this position, but I'm gonna bring the measuring tool around because today what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be creasing. And to allow me to crease, I've got this wonderful fold and form tool. This comes with your machine. Now, let's take a piece of cardstock. I'm using a silver opulent cardstock today. Uh, the reason being that it looks better on camera. You can see it coming out. So we're gonna place it against there. Now that is completely parallel. These lines come down here, so it's absolutely spot on in place. And you just butt that up against the side. And I'm gonna be going at one centimeter increments. And remember, if you've seen the overview, you'll know that you can switch easily between metric and imperial measurements. So let's bring it down to here. So I'm looking, there's number one. So this starts at zero here. We're coming one, and you simply make a crease, and we'll just keep going along at one centimeter increments. Now, if you want thinner, finer uh, rosettes, you simply go down to half centimeter increments. Or if you want to make the bigger ones, go up to two centimeter. I mean, the choice is yours. And that's one of the wonderful things about having a tool like this. It gives you that flexibility. It allows you to change it up to suit your mood, your colors, your card stock, the, um, the event that you're celebrating. It could be a birthday, it could be Christmas, it could be Halloween, it could be all of the above. But there we have it. So we know that these are perfectly spaced because we're using the tool. Now, this is how I like to do these. You, pri you might think that that's a bit wide, but there is method in my madness because I'm putting that back into position and I'm gonna trim this. So what I wanna do, I want to do three centimeter. So this is 16 centimeters wide. So let's go to 13. So that's taking away three. And that gives me that, that's one half of my rosette. Then if I go to 10, There is the other half. And we know that it's gonna be accurate because we're using the tool, obviously. Now, I'm gonna come down to five, and that will allow me, so we've got 10 left over. And let's cut that in half. So this rosette would be much wider than this rosette. Let me show you what we do next. It's very, very simple, just concertina fold all the way from one end to the other. And you can see that the, the creases are really crisp. They're really clean. You know, very, very easy to fold. This is something that you can do if, if you like crafting with, with uh, maybe a younger niece or nephew, son or daughter. This is absolutely perfect. Now, that folds around to the center like so. So I'm gonna repeat that with this one. And you can use whatever glue comes to hand. You can use whatever your preference is. I like PVA from time to time, sometimes double-sided tape, but today I'm gonna to be using my glue gun. So we'll fold that just so. And then we've got to create, now to make our rosette, we know that that folds to make half of our rosette. So what I'm gonna do is take my glue gun, and this being the Sizzix glue gun, of course, and just apply a little bit of glue to one side. Thus, then I'm gonna push these together. It's good to do it on the flat like this. There. 
So that's set, and then the next thing I need to do is attach the other end. Making sure that they're squared up there. Now, once that's set, I simply, and this is, this is kind of a fiddly bit, if there were any fiddly bits, but once you've done it a few times, you soon get used to it. So I'm gonna fold that into the center and I'm gonna bring the other one in like so until I get it where I want it. Now, this is a piece of scrap card, so I'm just gonna apply some glue liberally to that. And then I can place the rosette before it dries onto the card. And there it is, all in place. You can see the scrap card on the back like so. If you wanna cover the front, maybe take a couple of die cut circles. I die cut these using uh, Sizzix Framelitz dies but whatever you have to hand. And then you can decorate that further as well, should you wish. And there we are. Now, of course, this, this other one, that will make a wider one. So you can put one on top of the other. That would be the width of it. And you can put one on top of the other. You can mix and match the colors. It's entirely up to you. But there is one other little thing that I want to show you. And it's a nice little hack as well. If you want to add detail to these, we do have the punches at the top of the tool. So if I just bring that down slightly. Now this is our envelope punch. And what you can do if you get that in the center like that and just move it along, and I'm doing every other one. There we have it. And even if you wanna put a circle in the center, in the center of that one as well, we can come and then the next one. So you see when this folds together, it's gonna to look quite spectacular, and that's a great way to add some detail around the edges. So, as I said, whether you're decorating a box, or whether you're decorating a bag, or even making a wonderful piece of home decor, using this tool, it expands your creative universe. You can, you can change the sizes, you can change the colors, you can change the cardstock, you can make it everything you want. Thanks for watching. <laughs>